Okay guys, so I got to Home Depot. The guy there ended up talking me into Rust-Oleum garage floor paint, which is an epoxy because of the chemicals in the container um, after we talked about it. Everything else was latex and he didn't know for sure if it would affect that. So I just have gone off of what other people doing the shipping container, turn those off, that's annoying builds are doing which is this epoxy paint hopefully next summer i can paint over it with that aggregate stuff that i want to use i'll show you it's in or you saw it earlier in the video so i picked that up i couldn't tent it it's still that battleship gray <laughs> so it's still gray it's just not the darker gray that i wanted um so we'll just kind of see how this goes and how it looks and how it, the dogs handle it and um, I hope it uh, works really well. So the, what I've seen on other people's um, that have done it, um, it looks really good. So I actually feel like it's going to be good. Other than the fact that it's raining here and it's yucky, but it is warm. It's like 50, it's supposed to be 55 degrees today. So that's good news. Look at that. They're not playing around. There's some blue sky. I see some. Life is in a stream. The ocean calls. Okay, guys, so what we're doing now, I made it home. We've got to empty the shipping container of all of the things. And we're going to put them over here in the living room section so that we can get to painting this floor. And I'm not going to record it because we want to jam out to some hardcore music and we can't with copyright issues. So, <laughs> so we will see you on the other side of this uh, shifting of things. <laughs> okay, guys, it is empty. Except for that. Okay, you all, so that is done. Um, we've gotten it completely swept out. We just have the firewood that needs to be taken out. And then I need to see if my battery powered air blower thingy, um, the battery's charged on that so that I can do a really good blowout of this whole thing to get all the little bits of dirt that the broom and sweeping can't get. And, um, and then hopefully we can start painting it so the guy at Home Depot said, um, I have to lean on the side of the shipping containers because my, hand, my arm is so tired. Um, he said 12 hours, even in a little bit colder weather, and you can paint it in colder weather. It just takes longer to cure. So um, the next three days, today we're like 55. And then, uh, which is why I'm sweating. <laughs> and then um, tomorrow and the next day are in the 40s. So we definitely have time for this to dry so that we can get the wood stove put back up because yes, we are painting underneath that section too. And Kira has been off looking for gloves for us so that we can move this huge sheet of metal. Um, so let me show you all the junk in the other room. We stuffed it. <laughs> it is full. It is absolutely full. But we need to get to that sheet of metal pulled outside, another sweeping and cleaning, and then we can get to painting.
Give me a plate. You guys did not realize the metal is so freaking heavy and I have crazy lady hair. <laughs> but this is way heavier than you ever would have thought it to be. It's actually really hard to hold. That and I'm super weak right now. I'm right there with her. <laughs> okay, so now I just got it. We gotta move the logs and then we've got to sweep again. And we spent all that time getting those put in there. <laughs> I thought we were going to burn them before we had to move them. That's enough domesticated duties for this girl. <laughs> it's actually the third time that I've swept that out and it's there's still a whole lot of little dust particles. So I'm gonna go watch a couple videos on people that have done this, what they've done for prep work, and I'll link those below the ones that I end up watching and following. And this is not the first time this has been done. So other people have done it and uh, one of them, I think it's containing luxury. He's the one that uh, I've kind of watched a lot on. He shows uh, the bills and stuff. And I think he's the one that has used this and um, we've recommended it. So I'm just gonna go double check and see if I have to run back into town and actually get a cleaner thing of this for this first, or if I can just um, start putting it on and it's fine. And <laughs> so I'll link below the ones that I actually ended up following along with so you can go check those out if you have any questions. Because I have, other than crazy hair, no answers <laughs> as to whether or not this will work. Okay, well I watched some stuff and one of the big issues is I don't have time to wash the shipping container. So we're just going to see what it ends up doing. But here's what it looks like. There's two bags of paint, some fairy dust, <laughs> not really sure what this is, concrete etching, do not mix with paint, I don't know what that's for. I've got two bags of that and two bags of this stuff, which I guess we are going to go ahead and put down. And maybe some directions. I'm gonna read the directions. Okay, so the white powdery stuff, which comes in the packet, is for etching your floors, your concrete floors, so that it adheres. I am not using this product correctly. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> and I'm not even gonna do that stuff. <laughs> there is a possibility that this will not adhere to this floor, but I do plan on doing something over this next year. So this will be a great trial run for those of you that wanna know, I will do a, I don't know, six month uh, review on it and let you know how it works. Um, this is Epoxy Shield by Rust-Oleum. And, um, they want you to scrub it. They want you to do all kinds of things first. I just really don't have an option to do that. Hold on, I gotta switch hands. <laughs> My arms are tired. Um, because one, I don't have a power washer and that's one big thing is if you put that down, you do have to make sure that you should get it really clean. So I don't have a power, well, I do have a power washer, it just doesn't work. <laughs> um, so I'm actually skipping that step. I have swept it out as best as I can there's only one real oil spot which is right here where I'm sitting and I'm gonna have a cabinet over that anyway so uh, I'm actually gonna put this on really thick we don't plan on doing it anything in here for three days for cure time um, our temperatures are not the right temperatures the, <laughs> I'm not prepping it I'm not doing any of those things um, so this is 
do all the things wrong and let's see if it works video. <laughs> okay, so one thing it does say because of my temperature, I'm supposed to break these two into uh, and mix them into each other and then wait 45 minutes before I put it on, which seems crazy, but that's what the directions say. Um, and then you have to use it within two hours. You have to have it done within two hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this mixed. I might uh, get Kira to come in and help because I have no strength in my arms. And then I'm gonna gather all of my supplies and hopefully at that 45 minute mark, um, we're ready and we can get this, this down on the floor. That is the desire for today. Put it on the ground, please. Thank you. Where I can actually get to it. There's not, Kira's not in charge of the shoes anymore. Ugh, that was dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> on a good note is, if you found out, you could do partly with splits. <laughs> Okay guys, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it took both bags. So this was enough for a two and a half car garage or one 40 foot shipping container. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. It is very high fume and I didn't have a problem with it, but like right now standing next to it here, it's I can still smell the fumes even though I'm basically outside. So this is gonna cure for three days because of our temperatures, because of all of our stuff. And then we will move um, the wood stove back and we'll be able to start doing some stuff on it. The next big thing that we have to do here in the shipping container is 
cut out the sliding glass door, get the framing up for that so that we can have someone come help us, some of the guys are gonna come help us um, put the sliding glass door in. That'll help with the light. And then I need to frame in this end and put that window in there. So it'll be really exciting to get that done. And I really do love this. Let me show you it again. So the blue in these speckle chips, I don't particularly like. It doesn't go with the blue. Um, that I'm wanting to have in the shipping container uh, But it'll be fine for now and it breaks up that battleship gray <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take my tiny little wood splitter and try and split some of these logs so that We can have some split logs to do the fireplace in so it's a tiny one. It's a one ton But it's what I could afford last year and it worked great for a little bit of splitting here and there, making kindling and all that kind of stuff. Here is going to jump in the shower so that she's clean for church, and I'm just going to know that they love me the way that I am. <laughs> so I'm going to start splitting some wood here. I loaned this out to somebody, and it's just not working anymore. So I don't know if got used too much and that was the life of the little thing but uh, I guess I'm not splitting over. Guys, I do want to watch, thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm excited that we got the floor painted. I think that's going to make a huge difference in just living in there in general and the cleanliness and all of those things. And I feel like it's already brightened it up quite a bit. And so anyway, I just want to say good night and I appreciate you. And just remember, go out and do something that makes your heart happy.